All right, hello everybody. This is my first Calc 3 YouTube video. Um, we went over this problem the last day of classes, but many of you weren't there, so I thought I would do it again. Just do a little tryout here on posting things. So we want to find the volume of the solid cut from the first octant by this particular cylinder. So we've got a cylinder right here, and then we have this plane, and together, with the first octant, these shapes are gonna form some sort of solid. So let's begin by sketching a picture. I'm gonna draw my coordinate axes. So here we go. And I'm gonna want my Y axis to be positive and negative. So this is Y, this is X, and this is Z. All right, so let's draw the first guy, this guy. So this is, 12 minus 3y squared, notice that there's no x there, so you know that whatever this is, it's being shifted along the x-axis, it's being stretched along the x-axis. And so I can think about z equals 12, mi 12 minus 3y squared, that's just a parabola. And so if we draw it in the zy plane, we're going to go up here to 12, this is equals 12. Let's actually put that on the other side over there. And then uh, when y is 2, z is 0, so we're going to go y is 1, y is 2, I'll point out the negative too, but I really only care about the first octant. So we're gonna draw it, oops. We're gonna draw it like that. Still not quite right. All right, so there it is. It keeps going on this side as well, but we don't need that side since we're gonna be cutting it off. Okay, so this thing stretches along the x-axis. We can stretch it out this way if we want to, but before we stretch it, let's go ahead and draw the plane, x plus y equals three. So that's this plane that's gonna stretch vertically. It's gonna stretch parallel to the z-axis. When x is zero, y is three. Let's do the plane in a different color. Let's do purple. When x is zero, y is three. When y is zero, x is three. So we can draw that. Let's let that connect. And that's gonna come up and cut off our cylinder here. So let's see if we can finish putting everything together now. So what's happening? My parabolic cylinder is coming like this and it's getting cut off by this plane and there's going to be a line right here where they meet and then it's going to run this way and come down like that. So that's the name of the game here. This is the picture that we're getting, something like that. And from this picture, you get a real sense of what's happening. So I'm integrating over this region in the xy plane. And the top surface is clear. The top surface is just this guy. It's the parabolic cylinder. So when I want to set up my integral, I need to focus on this region. Let's draw the region in two space. And so we can see that, what, well, this is the x-axis, the y-axis. Uh, we're just looking at x plus y equals 3. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Same line as before. Whoops. Same line as before. And then we're also stopping this thing at y equals 2. We're going to come out and cut it off. So this is the region that we're going to integrate over. This is our r right there. And so the volume that I'm interested in is going to be a double integral over r of the top surface is 12 minus 3y squared. And then I don't know if I want to cut this dx or dy just yet, so I'm going to say da. So that's my setup. And now I can write this as double integral 12 minus 3y squared. And let's think about it. Do I want to do this type 1 or type 2? Well, if we cut it this way, it's pretty easy to see that that's going to work all the way around, right? I, I get a clean cut from x equals 0 to x equals 3 minus y. But if I cut it vertically, I'm going to have to change uh, roofs, so to speak, and break it up. So I'm going to cut this horizontally, type 2. I'm going to go dx, dy. x goes from 0 out to 3 minus y. And then what does y do? Well, it just goes from 0 to 2. So that's the setup. I'm not going to work out the details on here. I'll let you check. When you do, you're going to get 36. So the volume is 36. All right. Email me if you have any questions. I'll post the PDF to Microsoft Teams. 
and the campus web if I'm able as well. Take care.